TFNN Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. It's Friday, Friday of a long Labor Day weekend, 9 a.m., 30 minutes to go until that opening bell. And we got markets in negative territory so far. Dow Jones negative 65 points, trading at 25,945. S&P futures currently negative by 6, trading at 28.96, and NASDAQ futures negative by 8, trading at 76.40. We'll probably see a slow day in the markets today as people sneak out of the office early for that three-day weekend. Let's start things off. We'll jump over to the Nadex platform, take a look at some of those futures markets. We'll start off with the Dow. Pretty much at session lows as we speak, trading 25,941. Just kind of been a slow creep lower since about 2 a.m. Eastern time when we made highs. NASDAQ 100, pretty similar story. Highs of the session made about 1.30 a.m. Eastern time. And from there, we're off a bit, trading at 76.36. S&P 500, lower overnight as well, currently trading at 28.95. Crude oil with a little bit of volatility overnight. We were hovering around about $70.30 for most of the session. About 3 a.m., we begin to trade lower, trade as low as 69.65, and from there, we're back above $70. Oil trading $70 and one penny. Gold contract bouncing around as well, traded to a high at 4 a.m. of 12.14 in gold. From there, we're off about $6. Gold trading at 12.08.39. And Bitcoin back under 7,000, a little bit of volatility overnight. You have Bitcoin trading 6904. In terms of what else you have happening in the market as we come into that long weekend, Coca Cola taking a plunge into coffee with a $5.1 billion deal for Costa. So, Coca Cola, they come in and we'll get down here, agreed to buy the coffee chain Costa, including debt for $5.1 billion as they push into healthier drinks and take on the likes of Starbucks. Good luck to them. So, Costa almost 4,000 outlets. And to see how Coca Cola is trading on that news, a little bit of volatility, you talk about it. They're there is Coca-Cola. So close yesterday, 44.95, spikes in both directions, but looking to open essentially where we were at last night. What else? It is still earnings season and Lululemon shares soaring as sales top expectations. So athleisure, still a strong market. To get down to some of those numbers, you have boosting e-commerce sales growth by nearly 50%. That's gonna be the number. If you're in retail, you better be growing those online numbers and Lululemon, there's your number. Closed yesterday at 137, looking to open at 151. Stay tuned, Larry Pezzavento coming up right now. I'll be back at 10 o'clock with Tom. Have a great Friday, everybody.